Spank my buns and call me Skippy, it's true. This can't be. Marshmallow damage is going on. Boy, oh boy, was I waiting for this update. Now, don't get me wrong. I think we've all had our fair share of shitting on the devs for quite some time now, you know, including your boy. But when I tell you this update honestly fixed the game, in my opinion, it fixed the game. Now, whether the game is boring or not, that's totally up to you, dude. That's that's some way out of my control, you know? Can't tell you what you can and can't feel. Anyways, man, so I got the patch notes out here in front of me. Probably throw up some gameplay. This update was huge, dude. A long list of just shit they fixed. Not only the first step, because they have fixed a couple of things that really did really nudged at me. This this fixed majority of everything that everybody has ever had a complaint on. Now my first personal complaint that I had was the whole operator system that was in place before this patch. And with this patch, they brought all these puppies back, man. Look, whether you like the operator system or you didn't, man, it just, it had no flow. It, it didn't contribute anything to the game. You know what I'm saying? But now that you have your actual class system back in game, now we're talking teamwork. Now we're talking a variety of of options that you could put out on the field right that's my first biggest thing i could honestly say that right there dude changed everything for me you know and and in the positive light and like i said i do have the patch notes right here in front of me a lot of these are just uh random fixes like this one is they fixed a rubber banding when running behind friendlies the stability they they improved the overall game stability so another big thing they actually added which I forgot to mention talking about the class system was what's called weapon proficiencies. If you use an assault rifle with your assault class, you get an extra perk, right? So here's what I'm reading. If you use the engineer class with an LMG, you get improved dispersion while crouched or prone. For recon, you get immediate, constant, and steady scope if you're using a sniper rifle on that class. And the support class, if you use an SMG, you have a faster draw time. So it's just small little perks that that help you i guess in the battlefield for for using what i'm gonna assume the right the right weapons for the right class i guess they added some new vault weapons which pretty cool they added the m39 emr the mtar as well as the pp2000 from battlefield 3. um they fixed a lot of bugs with ai like i said man the the list really does go on and on and Pat's on the back, man, to the DICE dev team, and honestly, for shoving that carrot down my throat, man, for that last video that I made, because, man, I really did not have any hope for this game before this update. Let's go ahead and battlefield it up, get a couple games, man. I I'm gonna enjoy this update to the, to the best of my ability. I'll catch you guys on the next one. See ya!